In this video, I'm going to give you guys some quick fire tips of how you can paint up a display level black armor on this Black Legion Chaos Space Marine from the Nak Moon box set. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind. Welcome back to the channel collectors. This is a new series where I'll give you guys some quick fire tips of how you can paint up your very own miniatures and in particular, this series will be focusing on the happiest space marine also known as the Black Legion Space Marine from the Nak Moon box set. Specifically in this video, I'll be breaking down my strategies of how I'm going to be painting up the black armor on this character while giving you guys some tips and tricks to avoid the black armor looking a little bit blue or looking a little bit grey. So without further ado, let's go! So here are some concepts where I think about when I'm painting black. So painting black isn't just going from black, greys to whites. Fundamentally, we need a little bit of colour in there. And this colour is because the black armour is really glossy and it's reflecting the atmosphere, which is the sky. The second thing that you should be considering would be the ratio of shadows, mid-tones and highlights. Alright, so I'm going to be breaking down the ratios of the shadows, mid-tones and the highlights. So the shadows are going to be about 60%, mid-tones are going to be about 30%, highlights are going to be about 5 to 10%. So I'm just going to demonstrate it right here and you can see after I've faded it out, it's going to be looking pretty good. So as you can see right here, this is the demonstrated amount of shadows, mid-tones and highlights, demonstrating that the ratio is really important when trying to render black. Next up, we're going to see what happens if we have too much mid-tone. Okay, so now with too much mid-tone, as you can see right here, the armor becomes a little bit too grey. So this is a common mistake that I've seen many painters do when they are trying to paint black. They put in too much mid-tone because some of the other colors such as reds, such as blues, require a significant amount of mid-tone to demonstrate the form of the miniature. However, with black, if you put too much mid-tone, it will result in the area losing its blackness and it ends up looking a little bit too grey. Next up, we'll look at the surface when there is too much highlight. So with too much highlight, similar issues will happen because this will result in the armor looking a little bit bendy. What do I mean by bendy? When miniature painters tend to have equal ratios of highlights, mid-tones and shadows, it tends to look kind of like a zebra stripe and this is the result. So just pay particular attention to the ratios and next up, we'll be doing this in real life. So with all that concept out of the way, let's go paint up my display level Black Legion Space Marine armor right now. Alright, so first we're going to start off with some miniature highlights. We're going to be placing in the shapes and remember at this point of time, I'm going to consider this as the mid-tone and I'm going to make sure that this covers roughly 30% of the painting surface. I'm painting this from a top left perspective. So I'm placing the light and the shapes exactly from the perspective where the light will be shining on the armor from the top left hand side. So next up, no painting is perfect. Of course, we have to go back with the black and we have to refine the shapes even further. Especially with display level painting miniatures, you got to make sure that the shapes are looking pretty sharp and looking pretty complex. You don't want to just achieve sort of like a generic geometrical shape highlight and if you can add in a little bit of complexity because this will really pay off. So next up, I'm going to be starting to place some highlights here. This is going to take roughly about 10% of the surface. And right here, I'm going to be refining the shapes even further. So as you can see, when I'm placing the highlights on the upper thigh, I'm not going to just highlight it as a cone, rather I'm going to be tapering it down towards the knee. Alright, so here comes the highlight. And as you can see, I'm not even using white here. I'm going to be using a medium grey, which is slightly cool. And it sort of has a green tint to it. And I'm going to be doing the edge highlights here very, very selectively. At this point of time, you want the edge highlights and the sharp points to be really sharp and always go back to the previous mix if you want to do any changes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
and there we have it this is the final result of a bit more refinement and after i painted everything else as you can see the armor is lit from the top left hand corner and because we have placed in the highlights from all the other materials the mid-tone doesn't look as jarring as seen in the videos before oh you're still here thanks for watching all the way to the end I'm going to be very quickly wrapping up this video and if you're still here, please give me a like and subscribe. If you want to support the channel even further, you know, head on to the Patreon and become a Patreon right now. Thank you to my Patreons for allowing me to do this and I hope to see you in the next Quick Fire Tips video. See you.